Our talking point on trending this week, hashtag, is an issue which has everyone, the judiciary, the executive, everyone divided. When the court denied DMK MP Kanimoli and seven other accused in the 2D Spectrum case, bail, even though charges had been framed, was it unfair? Is bail a birthright of sorts? The question we are asking on trending this week, is the 2G case setting a precedence that will be a game changer for bail cases? Because the judge has held this up as a tough example. Joining us for more on that is Justice R.S. Sodhi, retired former High Court judge, and H.S. Fulka, uh, a senior advocate of the Supreme Court. Justice Sodhi, first to you. You've been very clear in your statements. You think Judge O.P. Saini should have given bail in this case. Yes, I, I still think so. That... Uh the bail should have been granted in this case, especially when the law itself requires her to be treated kindly, like a child. And also, uh, charges have been framed, like the, uh, as was directed by the Supreme Court in the first instance. And there is no possibility of uh, uh, polluting the trial. So uh, e even the, the prosecution doesn't think, think so. Yeah. And uh, it is unfair for the judge to say that I am going to teach her a lesson. He can't teach lessons at this stage. Okay, you have a different opinion on this, uh, Mr. Polka. You think that the judge should be commended because you said that he has been quite brave in this. What do you expect? Can you explain that a little bit more? <clears throat> Three things, Sunitra, I will say. Yeah. First of all, I watched the TV debates yesterday. And I'm sorry to say some of the TV channels provided their platform to the lawyers of the accused. Now, this platform needs to be provided to the victims who cannot defend themselves. The rich and mighty who can afford the best of the lawyer brains in the country, they do not need to be provided the no, platform. No, but we've now, talked about one. the unfortunate, number ones, two. unfortunate now, people behind now, bars as now, well. We've talked about bail in general. Now, bail in general. Huh. The judge has said that earlier bail was rejected. There is no subsequent change in, the, in those events. The only change in the event is said, now the charges are framed. He said, that is no ground. Mm -hmm. Now for me to change my opinion, go to the higher court. And he has very rightly said so. That is the law. That, uh, he has earlier uh, uh, rejected the bail application. And he can now change his opinion only on the account of uh, if there is a change of circumstances. Now, number three. Huh. Now, it has been criticized yesterday also, now also, uh, uh, like Justice Sodi said, yeah. uh, that he, it's not for him to send a message. He has just quoted a Supreme Court judgment. Right. He has quoted Amra Mani judgment of the Supreme Court. He is quoting the Supreme Court judgment. You can't falter the judge in quoting a Supreme Court judgment. What the Supreme Court says, and he is merely following those observations. For instance, when he no. says that Kani Moli doesn't deserve because she's an influential MP, surely that's not quoting a judgment. No, that uh, Supreme Court in many cases have said that you have to consider the influence of the uh, of the accused. That and his capacity to influence the witnesses in number of cases, and this particular thing of uh, this particular line of sending a message to the white collar criminals. Yeah. This is a quote from the Supreme Court in the Amra Mani judgment. What judge, what judge is saying? He is merely quoting that. No, I understand that it's not an attack, but it was never meant to be an attack against Justice or uh, Judge O P Seni. What we are asking is, don't you think that there is, a, you know? Everyone's saying that once the charges have been framed, what is the point of keeping everyone locked up? Do you think that there is grounds for that? You see, if anybody reads this judgment, it's a well written judgment. He has cited all the Supreme Court judgment and he's given the okay. reasons. Okay. Reasons. And Justice now this Sodhi, is for the appellate court to see. Okay, Justice Sodhi, Mr. Fulka here says it's a very good judgment. You, on the other hand, have said that the judge seems myopic. Would you like to counter some of the things that uh, Mr. Fulka has pointed out? Yes, yes. You see, for the uh, the fact that uh, the judge quotes a judgment to teach a person a lesson is to draw upon him, upon from the judgment to 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 an aspect which he himself favours. Now, merely quoting a judgment without meaning anything is not, not is, is hardly is neither here nor there. Hmm. So that is one aspect. Second, you must remember that the liberty and life are a fundamental right and they have to be balanced when is and, the right time justice Sodhi, when is the right time to give someone a bail you're saying they all deserve bail now because the charges have been framed and that's why they can't tinker with uh, evidence right that's what you're saying this is the right no, time to give them all no bail. I, no i am saying that the prosecution is not 
uh, doesn't want him and does not feel that the uh, that the trial can be can be uh, uh, prejudiced there is no ground for the judge to feel that the trial is going to be prejudiced ndtv's cricket app android and iphone faster scorecard special analysis and much more download free ndtv.com/apps